I have been... So, I basically... I haven't actually told you this either. I got this opportunity to work with Cosmo magazine to do a piece on alopecia. Amazing! Which is really, really exciting. Oh, cool. And so I've had to write this... I can't remember what they said, 550 words sort of thing about, like, my story about how I got it Aww. and all that sort of stuff. Mm. And they've also asked me to do a sort of shoot, like photo shoot, to go with it. So I'm like trying to find all these different women who suffer with alopecia. Do you need a stylist? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to ask you if you wanted to, if you <gasps> wanted to come out, because I've literally... Yes! I'm sort of not freaking out, but stressing you because I've got so much to do. I've like got to write this article and then also organise all this. That's way too much. Let uh, me take that <laughs> weight off your hands, honey. But I would actually really <laughs> appreciate your help with of it. Of course! You know I love that. This is my... My field of expertise. But also, I've got another friend of mine called Seb, who is a fashion photographer. Seb for Sebastian. Actually, if you want, I'm meant to be having dinner with him later, if you want to come. Yeah, sure. Cheers, my dynasty sister. I love your outfit. Also, are we twinsies? I think we are. I like yours. I feel like I'm colouring off on you, literally. Can I just say, the only thing, if I don't wear black, it's red. It's the only other, the only colour I'll wear. Well, I know, that's your palette. My what? Your palette. What is it? Um, my palette? You can say any word and make it sound like almost sexual. Really? Yes. Hello. Hi. It's lovely to see you. You too. How are you? Good, how are it's you? Lovely to Hi. meet you. Wow. Oh. You're looking amazing. This is Thank so you. So do you. Oh my god, are we brow twins? We are. <gasps> <laughs> Love. Thank you. Yes, Queen. Where do you know each other from? Um, so we have like a lot we have family friends. Yeah. And we both do fashion photography. Well, actually, I do fashion photography, you do more art photography. Off. This one does more nudes than anything yeah. else. <laughs> you don't have to make it sound porny. I feel like you and I could actually pass as brother and sister. I know. Well, also, when we were out a couple of days ago, we had, like, when I say matching outfits, completely. Oh, yeah. I, really? We were wearing all black and white trainers. And we were and because we're both blonde, same coloured eyes. Rock side hair, me without my wig be on. From the back, it could actually, you could mistake <laughs> us. How do you envision the whole... Shoot. I mean, in my head, I'm sort of imagining it very natural. Yeah. And sort of not too much going on, like, really... About the person. Uh, really about the about person, that's what it is. But they're meant to be... It's meant to be sort of upbeat. It's not meant to be, like, depressing and stuff. It's no, like, that's the last thing we want. Exactly. I'm really excited. I'm actually really excited. You do enough. look quite stressed, though. That's why I just want to say... That's why we're both coming, because exactly. I am a bit. Like, Mama's here to help. Thank Don't you. worry. <laughs> it's not my first rodeo in the I fashion know. world. Is that right? Yeah, those are really good, actually. Hey, Shatsy, that was great. How it's amazing awesome. are her eyes? Insane. I mean, she doesn't need jewellery. She's got the sapphires right here. Yeah, it's quite amazing, like, hearing all their, like, stories and stuff. Yeah. And they're all so, like, beautiful. No, like, they are. inside and out kind of thing. No, no, definitely. And I think it's such an inspiration to, like, yeah. especially young girls who, who read this. Them. Yes. Exactly, and it's it's so, it's so courageous as well to do this in front of everyone. Like I know, I feel a bit funny standing here with like my wig on. And I'm like, oh, I was going to say, yeah. how has it made you feel? And I think about your own alopecia. Yeah, for, well, I mean, I, it makes me feel like I'm sort of like, not pathetic for getting upset about mine because mine's so minor. Like I could have yeah. like, lost all my hair, but I haven't. So I'm like l lucky in certain senses. But then I'm like, it's actually not that unlucky. Like they don't seem to have let it really affect them. Women's hair loss in general is such mm. a still like taboo yeah. thing Objects, to talk yeah, about. Yeah, but sure. that's why I want this to make it such a like and you're common thing that like so many people have it, and it's not something to it's be worried about. It's opening up the about. conversation, I think, and making yeah. everyone feel like yeah. they can talk about it. Yeah, and that's what I want. I want the girl to feel like really confident and happy that they've done something like this and so when other people like read about it in Cosmo they feel the same way exactly you know absolutely I just really hope they know how beautiful they really are like regardless of having hair or not they will they will the pictures say it all <laughs>